It's been six years since the Flames last clinched a playoff spot, and last night many Calgarians' dreams became a reality. The Flames will be heading to the playoffs to play Vancouver in the first round, and folks are already getting into the spirit on the Red Mile. So last night was a bit uh, exciting for me. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a day to go down in history. Well, the last time the Red Mile was really huge was the 03-04 run we had when we lost to Tampa in Game 7. Uh, however, we've had a couple Red Miles since then, when the Flames have just, but they've exited early most of the time, in the, actually every time in the first round, so hopefully we go a little bit past the first round and uh, it'll be good. Let's hope I can contribute more to the Red Mile this year. I live in uh, Lower Mount Royal. It's, uh, it's my life. It's my, I'm bred. I'm bred into it. The Patriots, they do their own thing. They take cabs in the morning. They go home. Um, I'm not too worried about it. In my eyes. Based on the atmosphere on 17th already, I think it's pretty safe to say that many Calgarians are very excited about the playoffs and the Red Mile festivities. Kevin Brookrell of Calgary Police Communications says that the police are going to keep spirits alive while maintaining a safe environment. We heard, as probably many of you have, that uh, people would love to uh, reignite the excitement and the spontaneity of celebrations uh, along that 17th Avenue area. So in anticipation of that, uh, we have a plan that has been put in place. It, uh, in the early stages, of course, we'll just use on-duty officers and uh, folks that are, are working. There will be uh, contingency plans that if we need to call in additional resources, of course, that's always built into the plan, whether we have to bring them in from adjoining districts or areas, or if we, in fact, have to call them in uh, the policing perspective, uh, we know Calgarians are pretty excited. Six years without playoffs, and uh, I think we just want to not be an agency where we're fun busters, but we also have to be able to balance that. These folks want to have some fun, but they have to do it in a responsible and lawful manner. And that's our job to, to balance that against you know the community needs and the folks who live in that area. Has there been communication? The Stanley Cup playoffs begin on April 15th. For MRU-TV News, I'm Morgan Haslam.